Greetings, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Top Ten Songs here at CA Tranquility. I'm your host, Pete Yeah, Pardo. but he said. We are in rock fantasy <laughs> once again with Steve Keeler and our extra special guest, Chris Caffrey from Trans-Siberian Orchestra and Sabotage. I am here. Today, we're going to talk all about Megadeth. And before we get into our top ten list, we want to wish uh, the best uh, of health and Godspeed and yes. uh, recovery for Dave Mustaine, who announced today that he's been diagnosed with throat cancer. Horrible so, Dave, uh, I hope everything works out for you. We'll all be pulling for you. So... God's being take yeah. care. And, so. and I'm, I'm, I'm praying a lot, and I, I've had a lot of friends of mine that have that have dealt with different cancers, and, and in particular, my one friend John West. If you guys know me, he mm-hmm. sang in the band Our Attention, and, and yeah. um, he had a really bad throat cancer. I mean, to the point where you saw a half of baseball on his throat. And wow. When uh, we were on tour at TSO, him and his mom stayed at my house in New York City, and he went for his treatment and. He recovered 100%. It was 17 years ago. And awesome. He uh, sings better than he ever did. It, it really it actually even opened up his, his vocal cords because that, that had built up in, in his mouth. So it's like I'm, I'm praying for him, but I, I know he's going to beat this because uh, this, you know, not that there's any fortunate form of cancer, but that's one that they, they definitely it's got. Yeah. yeah, it's treatable. And, and they caught it early from what I yeah, understand. That, so. then he'll, be, he'll be good. He's, he's, a, he's a fighter. If anybody's going to beat that, it's going to be Dave. So. Yeah. Cool. So, Chris, why don't you get us started off at your number 10? All right. Um, I'm looking at my, my, my list here because I didn't really have the – of course, I never do this correctly, but I didn't really have a um, a number on it. But I'm going to go down. I guess with my my number 10, I am going to go with Sweating Bolts. And uh, I, it's weird. With, with Megadeth, with me, it's, it's kind of like I, I like the songs that, that everybody knows, and not just because they're – you know, the popular, but because they're fun songs. I mean, those songs are always fun to listen to, and, and um, mm-hmm. that's one of the yeah, ones... Yeah, the 90s that, stuff, right? Yeah, and it's just with the, the lyrics and the way that song is. It's a very fun song, and it's always... Whenever you heard it, you thought of the video, and it made you laugh, and it made you smile, and it yeah, just yeah. had a lot of personality. And that's the one thing that I really liked about Megan F. Through everything was their their personality and Dave's personality. So I think that's why that one made my list. That was a hard list to make because you could sit there and have probably four different top ten lists for Megadeth just under that idea, mm-hmm. like which was the top ten favorite songs that everybody knew and then which were your top ten yeah. like really metal well, they, songs. They, they complex and, stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We just did the overkill and that was a tough list. Yeah. Now that one I, I was thinking about today when you were telling me that's really difficult. What, yeah, would, was, what would your number one overkill be just to go completely off subject? I don't just knowing them for as long as they did probably Hello from the Gutter. I mean, that's just that song. It's is, on my list. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, so All right, Steve, number 10. In the number union we stand, you got to have the freaking yeah, chanter. I like that one, too. Yeah. Number 10 for me is, oh, I wake up dead. That's, that's on my list. list. That's on my list. Great song. Great song. Great song. Great song. It's on mine. Great song. Great song. <laughs> yeah, Pete? My number 10, kind of a weird one, but it's the only good song off this album, which I'm not crazy about. Uh, Kick the Chair from The System Has Failed. But you know what? I'm yeah. going to pull a mulligan here. i got a tie. Uh, it's going to tie with Peace Sells to Who's Buying, the title track, Peace Sells. Oh, okay. So, I don't usually do ties, but I couldn't see leaving even one of them so. so, number nine. Kick the Chair, man. It's a kick-ass song. Uh, Chris? Song. All right. Hmm. All right. I guess I'm going to go with, um, it's going to continue in my, my pattern here. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go to, uh, Symphony as my next one. Symphony of yeah. Destruction. Yeah. Damn, damn. How did I forget about that one? I yeah. mean, do my homework bad here. So I'm at number nine. Yep. Yeah. Good morning, Black Friday. Uh, that's an awesome fucking song. That is awesome. Yeah. yeah. I just keep speeding up as we go along. And I I'm just amazed these are coming in so low on your list. That's what I'm more amazed about. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> my number nine, Set the World Afire from So Far, So Good, So What. Oh. Oh, good too. Rampage too, right? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so number eight Jeff for Chris. Guitar. Chris, what do you got? Um, Washington is next. I'm going to put down my number next. Which is uh, one of the newer ones. Yeah, yeah. It's just very, you know what, he's, he's very intelligent and astute when it comes to his um, oh, yeah. his lyrics and his political side. And he just, when he, a lot of times when he writes songs like that, they're very, they're very deep. And that's, uh, there was a lot of those you could have picked from, but that, yeah, I think yeah. going from that angle, I was going to take that one, so. My next one is The Conjuring. I have that on my list. Of course, if I didn't have a number on my list. Number so eight. 
I don't know what you're doing. It's on a pen. We can write on your phone. <laughs> Pretty much just going piece self. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with anything. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. So yeah. my, my number eight is the uh, title track to Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. Excellent. Oh, uh, I forgot all about that one. Okay. Rings on that. And there's crazy <laughs> stop and start guitars. And, uh, it's awesome. Great stuff. What do you got, Chris? Uh, where are we at? We are at number seven. 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 Uh, let's see. Where do I go for seven? The uh, a two, however you freaking say the French one. Two le monde. Yeah, that exactly. Yes. Like you that's yeah, a great that's song. That is, yeah. And that's one of those ones that uh, every single person, no matter where they go around the world, sings every every lyric to. So it's it's um, yeah, yeah. It's a very, it's a very, 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 very. I kind of forgot popular. about that one on my list too. Uh, yeah, that's my number right. seven is Peace South. Yeah. How can you not have a Who's buying? Yeah, right. My number seven. Let's do some Rust in Peace. Hangar 18. Oh, yeah, yeah, good one. Right? Yep, that's on my list too. And your number, you're number six. six number Cassidy. six. I, I guess I'm going to go with The Conjuring. I'm going to follow your one right. right. That, 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 that song is just brutal. Yeah, that's a great song. My number six is a place where Ryan Scow would vacation. That's called The Devil's that's, Island. That's a great song. <laughs> Listen. Devil's Island! <laughs> one of the best songs on that album. Wilbur's Island! Wilbur's Island. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Oh, no, I can see. All right, go ahead. There you go. Last time you could see through those holes. Right? Well, actually, with the way this global warming is, you need these winter caps in June. So. <laughs> oh, uh, Jeez. All right, my number six, In My Darkest Hour from So Far So Oh, so yeah, what? that's on my two. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That that's a great song. Yeah, How did you forget, Steve? Oh, I don't know. Yep. Yeah, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. <laughs> All right, where are we? Number five, Chris, what you got? I'll go with what you just said. In My go. Darkest In Hour. Darkest Hour. Yep. My number five is Rattlehead. Oh, that's a good one. Awesome. Rattlehead. It's like, almost like over goes Hammerhead. Their heads rattles and hammers. This is where it gets tough. All right, yeah. Number my number five from Back to Rust in Peace. How about uh, Lucretia or Lucre Lucretia? Lucretia, however they say that. Nah, that's a good song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good one. It's a great album. You can pick any two from that album. Now we are at number four, four. four for Mr. Caffrey. I'm going to have to well, say, it's just a tough, because my last four are really difficult to put. Any one of them could be the number guess. one. But I'm going to well, go for Hangar 18 as my number four. And you, and you know what? You're a real copycat. Because that's my number four. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, see, I knew that. He's copying my list. See, I looked at that. I am not copying. It's just the, like last time school. you could give me something. I came up with a list this time. <laughs> <laughs> I even had a spare list. I think some of your numbers were on. A tornado of souls on my spare list. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I take not, no prisoners on my spare list. And hook and mouth was on my spare. Right, so number four for you, my friend. Tornado hook and mouth of souls. Was on yours? Oh, on yeah, tornado of souls from Rust right. in Peace. All right, there again, you, go. you can have the, basically this whole list could be. There's no bets on that album, right? That album would be sells. Jesus. All right, Chris, what do you got? Number three. Number three. Jesus, this is a tough one. Um. You know what? I guess I'm probably gonna go for peace cells. I, and I, I one easily could have wound up one, but I'm gonna. Make it number three. And that one was like, when, when Sabotage toured with Megadeth and Dio, that's when I realized exactly how big Megadeth had got, because they were getting big, but when we first did our first opening show with that, and I think we were in Connecticut, and I went out to watch Megadeth, I could not believe exactly how much every single kid in that arena knew every word to that uh -huh, song. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, yeah. they were exploding at that point. So that one very easily could have wound up sure. my number one, but I'm going to put it as number three. He sells. My number three is about a nature. A tornado of souls. It's a nature. It's popping up everywhere on these right. lists. Preservedly so, right? Could yeah, be yeah, on yeah. another channel, but they're not the souls. That's a tornado. <laughs> Max replace that. Rapture, and I, oh, we have Nick from Rapture over here. You can stick your head in and wave hello. <laughs> Nick is one of our great customers here and has the band Rapture and uh, go see him live. But he he plays that song. I can't wait to hear you play it one day. All right, my number three. I'm going to stick with Rust in Peace, man. Jesus. Uh, how about Holy Wars, The Punishment Do? Holy Wars. Best opening riff. Uh, incredible, right? Yeah. Fucking amazing. Can't beat it. Right, number two. Number two. Right, this is where I got a severe problem. Oh, um, you're gonna have to flip a coin. You know, I'm gonna go put my. I'm gonna put Holy Wars at my number two. 
because I what I had it as number one, and my it was one of the only ones I numbered. I was going to say number okay. one, okay. but I'm going to put it at number two just because the, my number one is just something that's so classic that I have to stay number one. Yeah. Well, my number two is the uh, Five Magics. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's not on my one. list at all, but you can you can use it. I, am I allowed? <laughs> he gives you permission. Well, is it okay? Possibly. <laughs> yeah. All right, my number two. We're going back to P. Sells. Uh, good morning, Black Friday. Nice. Never mm. on the wall. All right, number one. Drum roll. Someone. Mm. Chris Caffrey. Drum Chris roll. Caffrey, kick us off. I gotta go. Wake up, dead. It's gotta be. It's gotta be yeah. my number one. It's just a freaking. It's the best Megadeth song. Yeah, ever yeah. The, the lyrics are so classic, uh, and the thing is the so heavy. Is uh, exactly. It's everything. It's made everything. my top ten. I flipped around the other way. It was number ten for me. Number one is Holy Wars for me. Oh. Yeah. And number one for you? Wake up dead. You yeah. guys are copycats. We, we, we did it this time, see? Uh, and oh. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's like one of the best songs to hear live. Nobody it is. It is, too. It, 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 that riff is, all the riffs yeah, are great. Yeah, and it goes through different, yeah. different, Nobody different had cases of metal. Oh, yeah. 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 No. yeah. Which one? My last words. I thought somebody would have thrown it in there. It's in my own. That is that would, hands that would down be my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we, we got to get these two guys one. They, uh, all right. So we got. All right. We got two guys coming in. All right. We got Mr. Remember, Underground Metal, Ryan remember. Scow. And, uh, and Nick from June 27, Boomer's Star is open. So look for it. Look for it. Look for it. Well, at the end of the show, you'll give all the links. Oh, it's off. We're off already. What's that? You need a piece of paper? I don't have a pen. My what papers are right all full of all sides. He's, He's got a pen. You use off the top of your head? I do. All right. So I'm just going to go. You know what? I didn't even do them in order. I'm terrible at that. That's That's good. Good. Oh, oh, that's super okay. There you go. So we'll just get them and write them down. Last Rites, Love to Death, opening song on the uh, first album. Yep. Yeah. Such a good song. Not as good as some of that guy. I'm kind of surprised nobody included this oh. one, Skull Beneath the Skin. Oh, yeah. It's a, that's one of the best songs. Oh, and, uh, thing, right? you know what? I might get some flack for this, yeah, but I like yeah, this more than the Metallica yeah. one, Mechanics. Oh, Mechanics is great. Yeah. Oh. Mechanics is really Four Horsemen's a fucking awesome song. Don't get me wrong, but probably better lead guitar on that one, but I love Mechanics. Then from... Uh, what? My favorite album, Mechanics, or sorry, yeah, Devil's Island. Yeah. Good Morning Black Friday. And I'm surprised you guys didn't mention this one. My last words. That is just my favorite Megadeth song by like it's on my a country mob. Yeah, that's a great song. Then uh, Hook and Mouth. Oh, Hook and Mouth is great. Holy Wars. Yep. Take No Prisoners. And another song I'm kind of surprised you guys didn't have some rest in pieces. Uh, Poison was the cure. Yeah, I think there it's on my. Uh, it kind of starts off slow and then it just picks up and just you know warp speed thrash. No fucking around. It's on my honorable mention. Okay. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff. I mean, they have a lot of good stuff in their catalog. I think I'm trying to think what else they did. Um, they were so good at doing like really, really fast thrash. That was always my favorite. Yeah, with a lot of really like just also exactly. You know, it was super memorable. Like as fast as they were playing, though, they never really let you down. But after a rush of peace was kind of where you know. But there, you know, there was good tunes after. There were there were definitely good tunes. Like you know, they mentioned Skin of My Teeth, Symphony of Destruction. Um, what else? Countdown to Extinction. What else did I jot down? Uh, There's a couple songs on Endgame that were really good. It's totally. I, can't I always like Train of Consequences. That's another. That's kind a great of, song, right? Too. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's a really cool tune. That's a great song. Um, Elysian Fields, Mary Jane and Liar from uh, So Far So Good So What. Take and, No and, Prisoners was, was one that I. Yeah, exactly. And Hook and Mouth is another one of those funny ones. That, <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. The funniest part about that song was we're on that tour with Dio, and Stains on stage. He's off. Oh, you're on there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they're, they're live. So I won't say this. All right. So we're on the Dio tour. We're on the Dio tour with, with Megadeth. And um, Mustaine was about to introduce Hook and Mouth. And um, he, you know, might have, might have had a little bit too much orange juice that day or whatever. But he was on stage and he's talking about the PMRC, whatever, the stat, the other thing. And, and he goes to introduce the song. And he goes... Fuck you, hooker, tip and mouth. <laughs> so he got the whole thing instead of saying "fuck you, tipper." Yeah. Yeah, but that was my the funniest thing. Yeah, we were all dying. It was it was classic. I don't know if there's a video of it anywhere, but yeah, there probably is. What well, you got, Nick? You you're almost done. And I no, I finished. Uh, Next okay, time I was go. swapping stuff. Yeah, Nick, Nick wanted to share a couple. Kind of, of a rush list. So what do you got? For number ten, I got up. Uh, 
back in the day, this is this one I really liked. This came off of uh, the system has failed. It was used in. Uh, you remember the show Duck Dodgers? Yes. Yep. They featured it on an episode because uh, Dave was frozen and he was frozen. They they needed him um, to break somebody to break him out to fight against. Because uh, I guess um, what's his name? The guy looks like an eight ball. Uh, what is his name? But I guess they they had they were trying to do something with sound and then they needed something that'll fight against it and they used Megadeth. Uh, to fight against them and it destroyed it. So that that was one I definitely liked. And then uh, number nine, Sweating Bullets. Yep. Cool. Then uh, number eight, Holy Wars. Then uh, number seven, I, this actually became more of a favorite to me. This is uh, because my, my band started covering it, and when, when I started listening to it more, I got like really into it. So that became one of my favorites. And then uh, Peace Cells is one of the, one of the first ones I really got me introduced to Megadeth was from uh, GTA on the V Rock station. And then uh, Number five in my darkest hour off of So yeah, Good So one. Far yeah. So What. Then uh, number four, Wake Up Dead off of Peace Cells. Then uh, number three, Hangar 18. I think that was the first song that got me into Megadeth. And then uh, number two off of Countdown, High Speed Dirt. Ooh, yeah. And then uh, another one off of Countdown for number one, uh, Skin of My Teeth. Skin of My Teeth is great, yeah. A lot of great songs. A lot of great awesome. songs. So a lot of these songs were basically out before it was even the one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Most of them. I think the only one I'm older than is probably back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Chris, uh, come on yeah, back yeah. in. So Chris has got some links and things and uh, all that kind of stuff. Oh, Maybe I don't know. Well, there. So where where can everybody find you? So find him on well, Facebook. Well, if you look at me on Chris Cap Chris Capri Music on Facebook, and then also through um, Wilbur's page. Everybody knows who Wilbur the Metal Fan is. He's opening yeah, a new store, right, and it's got a Facebook. bunch of. Uh, a bunch of kids stuff and a bunch of adult stuff and, and four or five different pieces of art now. And there's some new stuff from uh, Vladimir, the guy who did my um, Jester's Court record cover and everything. So he's got some new stuff on there too. And it's really brilliant art and it's fun. And every single sale that happens gives uh, different money to a children's charity through that. Yeah, with, with Wilbur. So yeah. it's going to be going to be fun to see. He's got cool. a new sports line and everything that came out, lots of things. This way he doesn't have to pick a team. He picks his Wilbur's own team. So. There you go. All right. <laughs> Spirits of Fire, it's two. Is that happening? Oh, let me sit back down. <laughs> where are you going? You're in such a rush to leave. Wait, I'm not in a rush to leave. I don't know where I'm supposed to get out of this seat. I'll put back on this hat. Look, oh, I'm a head. All right, now I'm, I'm back, back in. I feel much better now. There we go. Well, you got us to our cave now. We're back. Um, yeah, I started writing. So pretty much like the first record, I'll probably have to do most of the work. And um, it... Uh, Whenever everybody gets a chance, we're going to get to... I want to get together with everybody and actually do some writing, too, with them. But I think I'm up to about nine songs that I've got pieces of. And there's a couple that are finished, and I'm going to just keep doing more. And uh, probably take some time. I'm not going to really write my next solo record until that's done, because I don't want to collide the two you know, too much together. So gotcha. I'm, I'm writing that and, and doing that now. So a lot of... Um, a lot of really cool stuff. There's some cool, cool music. And I actually put a little sniggle to something on my Facebook music from that. And, uh, other than that, we uh, I actually started to do some uh, radio promotions for the next TSO tour. So we're actually cool, cool. We're starting wow. to look at... Uh, before you know the, it. Yeah, before you know it, we'll be out, June already, out and about. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It's Halloween stuff. Will be in we still got to get together about. to do Sabotage Top Ten Songs. That, that, that is true. Yes. Yeah, right. So, That's a different... You want to talk about a difficult one. Yeah, right. It's a lot of good Because not only do you have the two different singers, you've got like... There's completely different eras sure. of Sabotage. You've got the really, you know, heavy... <laughs> Well, in the beginnings and then we'll have him come up and do yeah the time. ones off the different long. operas and which song is I mean that's a I think a sabotage top 10 is probably one of the most difficult top 10s that I would have to do just because it's like not only that I have well, so many songs that I like yeah. but I had to play so many of them so yeah. it's like I don't know I can't really answer that question in there I know Beyond the Doors of the Dark will be there for me anyway just because that's like my favorite <laughs> and leave a song, song. Yeah, yeah. that's a good yeah. song this is metal as it gets so see what you guys have to look forward to a lot of good stuff coming up and uh, so uh, Steve here at Rock Fantasy Middletown New York I'm gonna get myself a shameless plug you yeah, have to yeah it's what's Rock going. Fantasy 33rd anniversary is gonna be right here in downtown Middletown July 12th yeah at Quinn's Pins yeah, Bowling Alley. He was alley. five years old when this place opened, so. Who oh, I was? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I was 30, only five. Yeah, 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 so that was 33rd. <laughs> and we're going to have. 33rd anniversary. We're going to have three great bands. Sato, Ozzy Osbourne Tribute, Sanctuary Iron Maiden Tribute, and Last Pharaoh. 
Oh. Are going to be there. Last Pharaoh. Great. great. Last Pharaoh is a great band. They're going to be opening up. We're doing a cancer benefit for a local person that's been stricken with cancer, Sherry Spector. We're going to have tons of stuff. We've got, we just got a giant box from Metal Blade with Ooh. full of records and stuff to give away. We've got a bunch of local businesses. We're going to be doing 50 50s, trying to raise a lot of money for her. We're also doing a pinball tournament. So if you're just into playing pinball, come on down. I hope everybody. Is it's again? July. And the pinball tournament's going to unfortunately keep having the Ghostbusters game in it because it's uh, still uh, there, Quinn's Pins, but that's all right. Okay. They wouldn't let me give it to Chris yet. Yeah. We just couldn't do it yet. It's Chris, okay. one day I'll have it, though. No, no, that, that may not be true because that Frankenstein winds up being worth more than Ghostbusters. It ain't going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Nick from Rapture Say goodbye. How do we find you guys? Um, we have a Facebook page, Rapture eighty five. Cool. And, why? Uh, why? Why eighty five? Say goodbye, Ryan. My own curiosity. <laughs> so, you, know, you know this guy. Yeah. He's he's back. He'll be back again. Mister Mister Underground Metal. Thank you, Steve. That's <laughs> it. We're, we're gonna be anyway, visit us on the web at www.cutranquility.org. Yeah, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're on YouTube, yeah, often, often, often. Sure, so once again, for Steve, for Ryan, for Nick, food. for Chris, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. I'm Pete Porto. Wilbur. Priest just.